Hey everyone, Clint Butler from SIA here, and I'm your Dory friend and the entire SIA team. Thank you for joining me. Test 29, open graph versus no open graph. Can you guess the winner? <laughs> well, let's get into it. All right, so open graph is used by Twitter, Facebook, and a lot of the social media sites in order to pull data and uh, tell what the page is about, show the feature, the featured image, all that kind of stuff. Why they just don't use the meta title information, I don't know, but open graph is what we got, so it's cool. Uh, in general, most WordPress uh, plugins, SEO plugins, will add open graph for you. Uh, if you have a different CMS, check into that and see if it's adding it or not. Uh, and if you're doing HTML, you get to do it manually. Whee! Uh, but keep this in mind. The open graph stuff does not have to match the meta stuff, the meta title stuff. So you can create, for example, a unique title for Facebook, a unique title for Twitter, a unique title for whatever. Um, and keep a, Facebook and Twitter actually have two different things because you have the Facebook card stuff and then you have the, um, I mean, the Twitter card stuff and then you have the Facebook stuff, which is using the open graph. And so you can use different titles in each one of those sections and you can modify things and make them completely different, different meta descriptions, all of that, different images, all that if you want to and kind of go down the yellow brick road of playing with open graph. Now here it was identical pages, and one had open graph, the other one didn't. The one with the open graph was the only one that indexed and ranked for the keyword. Simple enough test, really quick to see if it has any value. It is used as a ranking factor, and if you think about it, you have open graph title and meta description. If you mention your keyword in the title and meta description, you have thus increased the keyword density of the HTML of the page. Probably one because of keyword density. Not saying that's why it won. But probably one because of keyword density. Um, this is a this is a really cool test, and with Open Graph and Twitter cards and that stuff not going away, I recommend that you just go ahead and implement it. It's not that hard to do, and it just gives you another way to reach your audience in a different way. Obviously, if you're coding HTML pages, it might be a little pain. But if you know enough code to code HTML pages, then Open Graph should be easy for you. Um, so check it out, implement it, and uh, put it to work for you as best you can. All right, hopefully you like these test results. If you'd like to see more, hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button and the little bell notification for when we post new videos. And I'll see you next time.